What's good YouTube? It's Ronnie Ryan here. And in today's video, what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be mounting three monitors to the wall and also hiding all of the wires behind the wall so that way there'll be no wires seen. Hopefully all the wires will be behind the wall. This is for people who has like OCD and don't like to see wires. I'm gonna show you how to do it today, all right? So the tools that you would need, you have drywalls for drywall video. You do a, a drywall knife cutter, okay? need you some levels of course you want to make sure everything is level so we got the small one and we also have the big yard one and of course you're going to need some drill bits all right and you're going to need three wall mounts all right this is three three monitors also i forgot i am will be hanging up my also my 32 inch tv you're also going to need a tv mount also and then also Got drywall, you want to make sure you get some strap toggles. This is a drywall. Um, what is this? This is so that way, so that way um, if you don't have a, if the stud is not where it's supposed to be at, then you use these as a replacement for the studs. These cost about um, $8.47 at Home Depot. And then also, since we're gonna be, since there's no outlet up here, I went out and bought this is a flat screen TV and wall cover and power kit. So basically, this is um, it's gonna put an outlet up here, but it's not gonna require me to uh, electrically wire anything. So basically, you just pop this, you just cut the hole out for it, pop this in here, and then you put the other one at the bottom, pop that in there, and then it comes with a power cable that you plug into the bottom one and just plugs into your nearest outlet. So that way you won't have to work with elect the elect um, electric electrical work in the wall. So. Yeah, I guess, the, yeah, that's about it. Everything you need. Also, make sure you got your tape measure. And a pen. Boom! Alright. So, and then also we have my dad here. Say what's up. What's up? DJ Main Source. You know it. In the uh, Metro Atlanta area, you need a DJ. I have his, um, all his stuff in the description for you to go and check it out. Also, his website and everything. So, we're going to be hanging up a 25-inch ultra-wide monitor, and also we have two 22-inch of um, ASUS monitors, okay? So, after all that being said, we're going to get everything set up, get this table out of here, and we're going to get started, alright? So, we'll be right back. Alright guys, the desk is out of here, alright? So now, we're going to get to work in here, alright? So we got everything mapped out on the wall here. Just um, the 25 inch ultra wide will be right here in the center. This is the center right here where the desk was um, positioned. All right. So we know that this um, the monitor is going to go right here. So with the knowing that we know that the monitor is going to go right there, now we need to figure out exactly where we're going to put the outlet. All right. So we want to make sure it's behind. The monitor so you can't see it and also we want to make sure that it's not in the way of where the mountain's going to go all right so before we do all that we want to make sure and the wire looking at the wall we want to make sure that there's no studs in the way um because just like i said this does this right here has to be it can't be in the way of a stud it has to be an open bay an open bay all right so we want to make sure there's no stud here You know, stud is right here, okay, on this side. And then we also know that stud is right here. So where the center monitor is, it's an open space so we can put the, um, the outlet anywhere between here. All right, so I'm gonna get all the starting now. All right, guys. So we're back here, man. We got everything um, mapped out on the wall. We um, marked where this is supposed to sit at here. Okay. So you can get you can get this right here at Home Depot for thirty nine ninety nine. CE Tech. Yeah, CE Tech flat screen TV in wall cover power kit comes with everything. We were surprised that it actually came with everything. It came with the actual bit for the um to cut the hole out for the drill. You just use that and you just boom cut the hole out you ain't got to worry about so having that 
um, drywall knife, you really don't need it if you buy this kit because it comes with it. All right, so it makes everything easier than also the tubing and everything. If it's if it, since the tubing, the tubing was uh, 60 inches long, but we only needed uh, 38 and a half, so we had to cut. They had to actually cut the tubing. They actually um, tell you if it's not, you have to cut it. We used the um, steel knife to cut it. It was real smooth and everything. But also we marked out where the TV mount was gonna be at. But now we're just setting up the actual tubing and the actual uh, wire. It even This kit even comes with fish tape. So everything you need Thanks. to uh, make this project 100% is all included for $39.99. And everything will be listed in the description below. Basically, right now, is they told us to. Um, it, it came with rubber bands for you, so you just um, get the rubber bands and attach it to the tube, and it keeps the wire in place. So you just want to go ahead and do this whenever you're ready for it. And just cut this. Now, <clears throat> what I'm about to do is cut the hole in the drywall, and you always want to go slow while you're doing it. I like to go fast. Because of the fact that uh, you don't want to tear up every, you know. locked in the wall nice and tight there as you can see so now what we're doing we got the bottom piece here the bottom piece is, you know you just slide this piece up in here and just slide it in once that slides in there you take this piece slide it on top of there and then you take the bottom piece here and uh, lock it in there Force to get it in here because of that wire back there, but slides right in there. Because electrical wiring is stiff. It's stiff. So you have to use a little muscle grease. Which he ain't got too much of. <laughs> See what I'm saying? Hey, these are muscle grease. <laughs> Alright, so boom, it's in there. Nice and tight. Now, what we do is, this one is gonna go at the bottom like this. And then this piece, which is the tubing piece, goes at the top like that. So we can even run the wires through there. But I'm not running any wires through there. But we're still gonna make sure that it's under nice and tight. Get right back. All right. Boom, it's in there. All right, now in order to hold it in there, you gotta screw these little screws here. Make sure you screw them to the right. It's, it's gonna lock onto the back of the drywall so that way it won't come out. It's gonna take a little, you know, muscle for me to get it in there. I'm pretty sure I got enough of that for this far. I say this power level is about 50. About 100. Too far.
Tighten it instead of using the power drill so that way you don't go too far to the drywall with the screw tightening too tight and just you know loosen it and you know crack some of the drywall so that's why I'm using the hand to I mean tighten it by hand and I know some of you are gonna say what's well, muscle grease we know it's supposed to be elbow grease but you know we make up our own terms here my name Running around and I approve that message. Now, this is going to be the covering for both of them at the top. You know, right now, it look kind of, it looks very really ugly right now. So, this is going to make it look a lot cleaner. It has a little flat there. It looks like a face, you know? Hey, y'all, it's going on. Yeah. Man, we ain't putting that in. We had all without <laughs> Boom. Snatch right on there. It looks nice and clean now. And then uh, one for the top. 100. Strong arm emoji in that in the Strong arm emoji. Most definitely put that one. Oh, we got a hater. Boom. Now it looks nice and clean. All right, so now we got the outlet thing out of the way. And then here is the cable right here. This is what's going to give it this power. You know, I had to, I'm, it's a good thing it's white so that way it blends in with the crown molding. I say crown molding. It blends in with the molding. We ain't talking about a dentist. I think such thing as a crown molding. You know, on top. Dead. So if you got this white, the good thing is white blends in with the molding down there. All right, so what you want to do is just want to plug this in into the bottom here. All right, once that's plugged in, this, this, this cable right here is six feet, supposedly. I hope so. But you know, it should be enough to make it reach right here. Boom. So now, we got power. All right, hopefully. Let's see. Take this light over here, plug it in. And boom. As you can see, we got power. We got power, all right? So now that's parts out the way. Just like I said, you can catch this at Home Depot, $39.99. It's gonna be in the um electrical, yeah, the electrical aisle department. Department. You can use uh go on homedepot.com. Facts. Type in your zip code so it can locate your store, it'll tell you the inventory. And exactly where it's and at. And exactly what aisle and what bay it'll be in. Yeah. So if you have the same Home Depot as me, aisle 38, bay 16. ASAP, Ronnie Ron. That's my Instagram, ladies. ASVP, all caps, Ronnie Ron. All right, so yeah, so we got we got that all part out the way, nice and out the way. So now it's the mounting part. It's time to mount these, these mounts up. And um, yes, this job will get messy, as you can see here. Just use a little, use a little air and you get um, all of it off. It was it. Back like how it was normal. All right, back. All right, so now we're gonna mount this to the wall. And remember, like I said, since the studs is right, one's right here and the one's over there, and it's not in the middle here, we're gonna use these right here. All right, you can cop these at um, Home Depot too. They was eight forty seven, I believe. 847, that's, that's before tax. All right, now it's um, half inch right here, half inch. And all you're gonna do is you just um, screw whatever hole size to take a screw in the wall, which is um, half inch, that's a quarter inch. I don't know why I said half inch, it's quarter inch, but for the hole in the wall, they say drill a half inch hole. So you wanna drill a half inch hole, you put these through, pop the things out, and then boom, it'll be just like it's a stud there. So these are basically studs, it holds up to 80 pounds. The monitor probably weighs like um, no more than 10 pounds, so it, you know it should be fine. You know, all right. And also the um the mount, this mount right here, I got it on Amazon. All right, it was $11 a piece. 
link will be in the description to them. Eleven dollars a piece. We got Amazon Prime, free two day shipping. Eleven dollars. You can't beat that. All right. So we'll be right back to you after we get all these holes marked out. Okay. Yeah. Now we're showing how these work here. They come with six in a bag. So for three monitors, you're gonna need two bags. Two bags. Two bags equal 12. But then also if you're hanging up a TV mount, you might need another bag for that too. But I got two bags. This suffice here. So I'm very used to using these because we did the same thing downstairs with all the TVs in the house. So I'm used to I know how to do these now. So Basically, this is all you gotta do. This part right here, stick it on through the wall, like so. Okay. okay. Now, once it's in the wall, you know it's in there nice and tight. So what you wanna do is you wanna get these clips like this, pull them towards the wall like that. Keep holding one while you're holding them. Push this little clip piece right here back. Just push it all the way back to the wall until it's in the hole and it's locked in. All right, see, now once it's in a hole like that, then all you want to do is you just separate these parts right here. They just clap off. You just want to aim it up at the wall like so, like that. And it'll come right off. Now you got yourself a stud. And you just want to do that for the other three holes or whatever the rest of the holes you do. And then boom, you got yourself stud. All right, <coughs> we got it mounted onto the wall here. As you can see, nice and Height is like a, just like a stud was there. Now we're gonna go ahead and get the monitor and mount it up here. All right, guys. So this right here is the finished product here. As you see, everything is mounted. The TV, all of the monitors are mounted, and everything. And as you see, there is no wires visibly being able to be seen. The only wires you can see is probably that PS4 wire, but you know that's um, understandable. I'm gonna get a PS4 mount to put on the wall so that way the wires can go behind the TV. You can't see them also. But let me show you exactly how to manage these cables. All right, as you can see back here, it kind of looks like a mess, but everything is kind of organized to um, I can understand it. So basically, all all three of these mounts came with three velcro straps a piece so what's that um nine there's nine velcro straps so i got each um one velcro strap for each um monitor say i think the middle one i didn't need a velcro strap because it's in the middle and they can just sit up there and plus the tv's blocking mostly everything and also you got the tv wires and stuff up there with the um the power cable to make sure everything you know what i'm saying gets its power but yeah so basically you just want to get the velcro straps strap all the wires to you know the mounts right here this mount right here and also that mount over there and you just want to make sure they're tight so that way they do not hang down as you can see there's no cable hanging down so you can't see either at the top and you can't see at the bottom all right so there's no cable so you just want to make sure everything is nice and behind here and if you want to you know you can organize it to a way that you can understand and know where it's, where everything is so that way if you ever have to take these down and everything you know how which core goes to what as you can see i also have the velcro strap here and we're going to get the get it to focus Let's see as you see yeah we got the velcro strap here and then all the wires right here they connected to there but this monitor is in the way, so you're not going to be able to see them. You may be able to see them a little bit, but not too much. It really doesn't bother me. I don't care about that. You know, if you're a person that, you know, that has to be like perfect, where you can, you know what I'm saying, you can work it out to a way where you can't see none of that. But for me, I'm good. As long as I don't see them under the monitor, I'm good. All right. So, and also this middle mount right here, I had put it, we had put it the wrong way. I thought I was going to be able to put it that way so that way it can. Um, this mount doesn't tilt up and down, so I wanted it to tilt up and down, it only tilts you know left and right. So I tried to put the mount the other way, but 
you know, the mount when you put the TV on it, it just fell straight down. So we had to put it the right way. And, you know, it just it really doesn't bother me. I thought I was going to want to, you know, be able to tilt it, but I don't need to because it just, just don't need to. All right. And then this mount up here, we had got, um, got this mount for the TV from Amazon. Once again, two day free shipping. It cost $18. It came with the level, it came with the HD 10 feet, 10 foot HDMI cable, and also it came with Velcro straps too. So that was another plus. Yeah, so if you need, just like I said, if you need your mounts, go to Amazon. Everything it will be in the description for you to um, complete this project, just like we said before. And hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to smash that like and subscribe button. It's the one and only Ronnie Ron, man, and we're out. We're out this, this pace.